Outplayed them the whole game except for just a matter of moments. And uh, maybe that's something that we need to manage uh, closer, you know, going forward. A lot of the world was viewing this game tonight, and I think they saw what a fantastic environment our stadium and, and what's going on here is on the world soccer stage. So I can't be more proud. There was one thing that stuck out to me yesterday when Pat Noonan spoke to us, and that is he said yesterday, it, was almost, it almost feels prophetic mm -hmm. at this point, he said when you play a guy like Messi, you can put together 89 minutes of really good soccer, but he gets the ball on his foot and he does something spectacular just in that one moment he can change the whole game, and that is almost exactly what happened tonight. And I mean this with the utmost respect to head coach Pat Noonan. He is an absolute soccer genius. That's not a hot take. Messi's been doing that for 20 years. Yeah. He's been doing it for 20 years, and fans paid a lot of money to see this game in person. They wanted to see Messi. Whew, did they see Messi tonight? Yeah, the word that Pat Noonan used yesterday was spectacular. Messi in those two specific moments, the first two goals that Miami scored, he was spectacular. We will hear from head coach Pat Noonan coming up in just a little while and uh, take you a little deeper into a recap of this game. That's coming up in about 15 minutes or so. We'll send it back to the studio now. Awesome. Looking forward to it, Caleb Marshall. Thank you guys so much. So that was a sellout crowd of nearly 26,000 people to watch FCC fall to enter Miami. Yeah, WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey is outside the stadium now. Sean's been talking to fans now for a couple of nights all across town. Sean, how's everyone holding up? Well, Jasmine, Evan, I am, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, a lot of the FCC fans here today uh, are taking this nail biter a little bit harder than they may have some other losses. I'm pretty sure there was a guy that I was passed me as he was exiting the stadium up there earlier who may have been reconsidering every decision he's ever made in his entire life. He was a mile away in the distance in terms of where he was uh, staring. This one was really a rough one for people. First, we are up and just basically cruising to a victory, no problem. Miami comes roaring back and sends it to OT, and then they're up for most of OT, sapping away all of the hope in the final minutes until, boom, that's when we're going to penalty kicks, where, of course, we came up uh, just one kick short for a trip to the U.S. Open Finals. Now, it was a complete roller coaster that really left fans just leaving the stadium flabbergasted. We lost. What happened? Such a bummer. Such oh, no. a bummer. Love FC still. They're still in first place. They got it. Go FC all the way. Yeah, it was tough. They gave it their best effort. Uh, it was a good match. <laughs> Could have gone either way. It was a big bummer, but, you know, we still love the team, and it's amazing. So we're happy to be here. We're happy to support. Uh, despite this loss at TQL, there was one silver lining for fans here. As you heard Marshall and Caleb say there, two soccer fans got to see the legend himself, Lionel Messi, play with their very own eyes. Now, for some here, that could be considered a religious experience. For me, I just had a good time hanging out with the fans and hanging on every single experience, but I will tell you it has been emotionally exhausting. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it back to you guys in the studio at TQL Stadium in the West End. I'm Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.